Hey everyone, welcome to Lance Fantasy Gaming. Um, it's going to be a review for Boulder Skate 3. Um, if you guys haven't, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, it helped us support and help us out as well. I played about 80 hours of Boulder Skate since it launched till now. I believe that's, let's see here, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's Wednesday morning now, so about five days, 80 hours. That's a lot of hours. Um, I'm towards the end of Baldur's Gate. Uh, this is going to be spoilers free because man, anyone that didn't play it, uh, I highly recommend you to play it if you do own the own the game or you're waiting for the console for next month for the PS5 uh, for that. So we'll have good and bad and overall opinion score towards the end of the video uh for that um the the good thing is um uh, it happens after the the uh, fur the boulder skate uh entered into uh a furnace i believe it was called i have the adventure book downstairs i haven't really looked much into it uh i have we haven't really played any of the modules because it's, a lot of the dd module has good lore it's just it's, a lot of times adventures are really badly wrote uh written and a lot of times i have to go back and edit a lot of stuff into the adventure module so i have it for reference for lore materials and i believe there are classes and you can use and monsters too i know they use the soul the hell hell soul soul forge engine and stuff like the the, the um basically uh vehicles in hell and you have soul coins and stuff like that in the book uh, for that. Um, so far, it's a very good game. I really do enjoy it. Um, I know that people... I have a friend. Um, I'm not really going to say his name uh, for it. But, uh, you know, he has a lot of good points. And some points I don't really see. For, for example, for me, how I see it, you know, I play Never Tonight's 1 and 2. I try to play Boulder Gates 1 and 2. Instead, I watch the, someone play the YouTube video of it, just get the lore. I think is throughout the age, when I see better and better and better graphics, and I'm totally liking more of the better graphics than more of the older graphics uh, uh, for it. I'll still go back playing Everyone Times 1 and 2, um, but Boulder's Gate 1 and 2, I tried. I didn't, didn't try 2, I tried 1. Um, and also has second edition rules, and I did not like the A, B, and D, um, the rules uh, for it. Uh, I'm more of a 3.5 uh, player, or third edition player, or Pathfinder 1 player. That's what I actually started um, playing after A, D, and D. The A, D, and D, I played around for a few months, didn't like it, but when third edition came out, I played the shit out of that. And play 3.5 with my friends. Now I play 5e with my friends over here in South Carolina due to the fact, you know, you know, I can't find anyone else to play 3.5 or Pathfinder 1 uh, for it as well. I might end up jumping into Pathfinder 2e Remaster when they release and the Valiant Tales that Cobalt Press is going to make. So Boulder's Gate 3 is 5e. I know the rules. I know the ins and outs. I know all the classes. And the races for it as well. Um, they did tweak it a bit just so it'd be playable that I have seen uh, for it. Um, yes, there is a level cap of 12, and I believe it's uh, 12 is 6 or 7 uh, spell. I don't know because I think I got 6 at level 10. And it is. I think it's five or ten. I forgot. I forgot. I gotta. I don't have my player's handbook with me to actually look at reference for it as well. But so it has majority of the spells and it has all the spells class to level twelve and race in the core player's handbook. Um, they did not add anything from like Tasha's uh, ca um, Cauldron and some other books uh, for that matter uh, for it. And I'm towards the end. I mean, like, I like five to ten more hours into it. So, 
uh, then I probably should be level 12 by then because it takes a lot of experience points just to get 11 and 12 and how they set this all up. So I, I'm guessing the reason why they capped it at 12 is, uh, you know, it's very hard for you to like get like a higher level. I guess they, that means all the bosses are going to be level 12 uh, range for it. But I, you know, if you want to become a murder hobo, I'm guess you can be level 20. And I don't know why they didn't want to do level 20 and have all the spell lists just like that or the spell scrolls. Uh, they have some legendary weapon. They don't have all legendary weapon uh, for it. And that was kind of a bummer. I have not find a, a bag of holding in the game in 80 hours. I have not find a bag of holding. Uh, so... I got kind of irritated because a lot of the um, the D and D type games I have played, even Pathfinder, always had a bag of holding. I did not see any bag of holding. There was every time my guy, my player is like, uh, "I need to have a bag of holding to carry this stuff." I'm like, "I don't have a bag. I, I haven't seen one bag of holding. I would love a bag of holding." But there's no bag of holding. But overall, it's a good story. There was like 128 endings in this game. It is, has a huge playability, right? I think after I beat this, I'm going to stop for like a, probably a month or two, then go back to it because it is actually very draining on me just to play it. Um, but overall, that's the, the good and a little bit the bad. But I'm going to go towards the bad a little bit more now because I want to make this video not too long. Uh, the bad thing is... Uh, towards Baldur Gate, it's very laggy and buggy. I have a 3080, and I got it. I, I even though it's an ultra, it should be, it was smooth all the way into Baldur's Gate. It's just too many uh, sprites and too many stuff going on, so my frame rate just dropped and take. So I had to move it to high. So if you have a higher graphics card, let's say a probably a 3090. Or 2080 Ti, you should have all ultra setting with you just fine. Higher than that, uh, but not a lot of people I know does have it. Just to let you guys know. The other thing is that I am seeing is there are bugs in this game. There are bugs. Sometimes the buttons don't work, the doors don't work, character dies, and they're not. And they're supposed to be a way to get them not to die. But you know, every time you go load and preload, they just die. So there's a lot of bug issues in this game um, that I've seen. And you know, the 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 beard and everything else going through my armor and everything else in the game uh, for it. If you see the gameplay down below, you probably see when I do see when you do the cutscenes for that. Um, those are the only two bad things I have seen so far. In it is just Baldur's Gate. Uh, when you, go, when you go into the city, you have a huge frame rate and lag issues and simple like bugs, like buttons, character uh, that are not supposed to die, dies. Uh, because you're supposed to have to have different directions in the game for it. And I looked at posts and stuff like that and uh, it, it is very, you know, infuriating because I'm trying to get to a certain ending. For it, but I should not really do much for that as well. Um, not, not having a full spell, not having the up to level 20. And I also know that they're not going to try to do a DLC for this game. So, because they say it's very difficult, but I can see a lot of plot points while playing the game and knowing the lore of Freyana Realm, you can actually expand a little bit around the Sword Coast or around Boulder Skate. How about going to Neverwinter? Because I do love Neverwinter. It's like one of my favorite city. I always make talks about that uh, for it. But I give this game a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I think it's very fair uh, playing all the D&D games um, and actually becoming an actual DM for over 20 years. 7.5, it's a good game. It's playable. Uh, is it the best D&D game? Mm, I'm still going to have Neverwinter Nights 1 as my favorite. I'm sorry, guys. Everyone has their opinion, what their favorite one is. A lot of new people that play this, this is going to be their favorite. But Neverwinter Nights 1 is my favorite. I have a friend that 
uh, adores Boulder Gates 1 and 2 and talk trash about 3 uh, because of WotC and stuff like that. And I, I can care less about it. Uh, but, yeah, that's my opinion. Let me know what your opinion down is down below. Uh, be civil now because uh, if it's going to be too uh, hostile, uh, you know, depending on what you say, it, it might be removed. Uh, because I do have some time as a um, saying very um, profound things uh, on, on the messages for it. And who knows, I might just leave it if you make a point. But if it's your opinion, that's your opinion. But do not force your opinion onto other people. You know, it is what they like and so forth for that. Anyhow, subscribe, like, and share. Check out our uh, check out the social link down below. Join our Discord as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.